right? We're going to put a star. Billy Brown, add a word there, right? Billy Brown, add a word. Only young girls. That's harsh, man. There is also, but, oh my goodness. What does the V stand for? Virgin. <laughs> I feel wrong writing this. Virgin, what does the G stand for? No. <laughs> and then the white will, right? Yeah. And then the nuts down here, right? So it says Billy Brown slash only young girls, but virgin girls will not. That's what we use in the final exam to remember this. And actually, it was my female teacher who taught me this from Sandy Ben College 2014. Anyways, she's the one who taught us this. So since then, I've never forgotten. So this is the acronym where you can use to remember which were, uh, which color goes where, which color starts first, which color goes second, which color is third, which color is fourth. So Billy, that's black. Brown is brown. That other word is red. Only, that's orange. Young is yellow. G girls is green. But is blue. Another V is violet. Then girls, and the second girls is gray. Then will is white. Not is not. Uh, that's uh, ignoring the two tolerances that we have here. Are we together, right? So we've got gold, and of which gold has got a tolerance of 5%. We've got silver. Silver has got a tolerance of 10%. Then we've got uh, this nothing, right? Not. If no color is given, then the tolerance is 20%. Are we together, right? Gold and silver can also be used as multipliers. So gold as a multiplier is times 10 to the power negative 1. Silver as a multiplier is times 10 to the power negative 2. Are we together? All right, let's look at examples that we have here. Okay, so they're saying you've got the value of a resistor, which is 2,2 kilo ohms with 2% tolerance, right? Here's our resistor. It has got a value of 2,2 kilo ohms with a tolerance of 2%. Now, kilo, we said it means 1,000. Now, if you've got 2,2 kilo ohms, it means 2,200 ohms. Are we together? So, let's convert all these into colors. Are we together? Now, to make it easier, let's not use kilo, right? You guys can use kilo if you want, but I rather prefer we don't. So let's just rewrite it into 2,200 ohms with a tolerance of 2%. Are we together, right? So the first color, 2, what color is 2? Red. Are we together, right? Which is that word, right? And what's uh, the second color? 2. The second color is? Also. <laughs> the second color is red. Then we've got two zeros here, right? Now here's the trick. Which number do we multiply 22 with to get 2,200? Are we together? Here's how I would normally do it. Mm -hmm. If we were 2,200, what number would we divide it with 22? Sorry, what number would we multiply it with to get 2,200? So I take 2,200 divided by 22. What do you get? Yes? 10. 10, you sure? 100. Are we together? So that's 8, 100. Now, 100 is equal to 10 to the power 2. Are we together, right? 100 is equal to 10 to the power 2. Ah, and 10 to the power 2 is equal to? <laughs> These guys are playing with us. Red. And a tolerance of 2%. Ah, red. These guys are playing with us. Red, 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 red. So this is our answer. Are we together? Now, let's do another example again, right? Okay, we've got another one. We say a resistor has the following color bands. Use the colors to determine the value of the resistor in ohms and kilo ohms. So, they gave us yellow, they gave us violet, together, right? Now, how do you now reverse engineer from numbers to colors, right? So, the first color that you're given is Yellow, are we together? And what color is yellow? It's four, four right? So we're just going to come here and write four. Second one, what color, what number is violet? Wait, what? Yes, what number is violet? It's seven. Then we come down here and then we write seven. And the next one is yellow. 
What are the multiply of yellow? It's times ten to the power four. Are you guys sure? You guys don't seem sure. Yellow. Oh yes, it's times ten to the power four. Yes, that's correct, right? Then we move on to the next one. The next one is gold. What is the tolerance of gold? It's five percent, right? And then we come and we do it like this. Now let's put this into numbers now, right? So that it can be a comprehensive value that makes sense. So the first one is four, so let's put a four. The second one is seven, so let's put a seven. Then the other one is times 10 to the power four, then you write times 10 to the power four. Now, can you punch 47 times 10 to the power, four, to the power four in the calculator? What do you get? That's actually correct. 470,000, that is correct ohms with a tolerance of 5%. Now, they said you can also write it in kilo ohms if you want. That's what they said, right? So here it should be 470. Kilo means? Thousand. Thousand, right? So that means we just remove this thousand and we replace it to the K. So it's 470 kilo ohms like this. Are we together? Any questions? Apart from how awesome I am, any other questions? <laughs> okay, let's do the last value now, right? Let's do the last one. Oh man, I love this question. I love this question. This one is from a five bend resistor, right? Yeah, mm. yeah it's okay. Here is, a, here is a five bend resistor. And they want us to give the colors, they want us to give the answer in either ohms or kilo ohms. So, let me rub the board a little bit. Now, here are our colors. Our colors are, the first one is green, the second one is red, the third one is yellow, the fourth one is silver, the fifth one is brown. This one is a five, uh, five band resistor, are we together? Now, green, what value is represented by green? It's five, five. five right? And what value is represented by red? Two. 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 Yes, that is correct. And what value? Now, this is five bands, right? That means the third one is still a value. I will together. Now, what value is represented by yellow? Four. And now, we go to the multiplier, right? Now, silver. Silver is times 10 to the power of what? Negative two. So we come here and we write times ten to the power negative two. And brown. What is the tolerance of brown? It's one percent. Okay. So let's put this in words. Right? Let's put this in values that you can actually play around with. So here we've got five. We've got two. We've got four. And then we've got times ten to the power negative two. If you punch this in the calculator, what do you get? You know, the batteries of your calculator are finishing. If this comes down to the power negative two, then just put the comma one, sorry, one, two times. The comma is here, then you move it two times. One, two. So it will be equal to 5,24 ohms, are we together? With a tolerance of 1%. What do you guys think? Difficult or simple? I see you look confused. Ah. It's getting there. This is easy stuff, right? Okay, let's do one last example and then we'll see from there on uh, what we do. Here we've got another one. Number three has got 27,000, no, sorry, sorry, 2,700. That's still 27,000. 2,700 zero zero ohms <laughs> with a tolerance of 20%. Are we together? Okay, so let's do this question together. They're saying, Put down the colors for this whole thing, right? So what's our first color? Red. That is correct. So our first color will be red. What's the second color? Violet. Violet. That is correct. The second color will be violet. What's the third color? Now, multiply now. Which number are we going to put for the multiplier? Red. Yes. So for red, he, he, he has another trick. I don't know if you're using that trick, right? Well, you just look at the number of zeros. Yes. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay, this also works. You just look at the number of zeros. It's two zeros. That means it's times 10 to the power two. two. <laughs> that also works. 
And then lastly, we've got a tolerance of 20%. So what does that mean? It's not. not right? That means there's nothing there. Now, not. That doesn't exist. Are we together? Our lesson is complete. Any questions?